Greetings, faithful viewer. And yes, since yesterday was cleaning up or clearing out the lumber yard, today is the obvious building the settlement in the lumber yard. So I was like, I'm sure you all knew that's what was going to be happening next. Better hope you don't get stuck in that thing. Yeah, yeah. I haven't gotten stuck yet, old man. Oh, people over there doing? Oh, those are my provisioners. I guess they swim across the water. <laughs> I swear, some of these provisioners take some really weird routes to get places. But, hey, as long as it works. They can do the, the as the crow flies all they want to, I guess. Although one would think the passage the other way would be easier for the one going to the um, uh, visitor center, but oh well. Okay, I have seven people here now, which means I've got a new person somewhere. And we gotta give something for the new person to do. So we've got 12 food for 7 people, we have 20 water, 18 power, 24 defense, and 9 beds, so we're still in okay shape. Since most of the stuff I'm doing out here is basically all in the open, still, I'm going to make another one of these little, kind of, covered little areas for this one. Okay. Instead of doing it across the back, we're going to do it in the corner this time. I don't know why. I just... Changing things up a little bit. Alright, we got a trading emporium. Yay! So maybe I can buy stuff without having to go all the way into Far Harbor. That would be nice. All right, we need a uh, we need to get some power up here so she can see what she's doing in these less than bright times. Got to get a little closer, I guess. But, all right, so we've got the light lit, and now we need the connection. There we go, there's the connection. Connect to the lights, and now we can put in lights. Put in a single bulb. And put in some post lights too. Alright, so it's lit. Yay. And by lit, I mean illuminated, not whatever. You kids are using the word lit for these days. Alright, so, since I don't know where my new person is, we'll use my Thought Tech Overseer's Population Management Software. We will assign our new person to the junk store. Alright. We got two farmers, two caravans, one bartender, and one junk dealer. Wrong button, Bill. There you go. All right. Yeah. Um, I don't recall why we have dead trappers here. We always sell what we can um, use ourselves. <laughs> My kids ain't gonna believe the stories about you. Makes you think you're ever gonna have kids. Although, I, I do have to say, with the uh, some settlements, there is the possibility for a little hope sometime. Yeah, looks like you got some stuff too. Yeah, I'll just clear them up. 
down. Let's just dump the stuff in the workshop and be done with it. I don't know why they're running these trappers are running around with pull cues. Doesn't strike me as the most efficient weapon around. I mean, sure, it's like if you get hit with a pull cue, you're gonna know it, but I mean you get hit in the wrong place with the pull cue, the pull cue is gonna break. And you gotta get up close and personal with the pull cue. I mean, for as unimpressive as pipe rifles seem, I think I'd rather use one of those than a pull cue. And I mean, if I was going to have to get up close and personal, I, I would prefer my up close and personal weapon be like sharp. A pointed stick. I forget what that was from. From some TV show or movie or something. Oh, it's a Monty Python routine. That's right. What to do when you're being attacked by fruit. Well, I never met someone that did the captain's dance before. Hey there. That must be 30 years? More? Since someone did the dance like you? Every day, another harbor man leaves the island. In the deep fog, there are things out there. Okay, so she's doing traitor animations. She's in a traitor place, but she's not wanting to trade anything. Okay. That was weird. I don't know what that was for. There's three people there. I guess they sent three people down to work on it. And it's nice and green. Lovely. Alright, well. That's, um. There we go. Let's get started. We have no food, no water, no power, no defense, no beds. We got nothing. Although we do have fog condensers. So, I guess that's something. It's a starting point anyway. Clean up. Basically, there's going to be an awful lot of this going on to this episode. Just a lot of cleaning up all this stuff. And of course, the thing is, is since we're using scrap everything, or scrap anything, or whatever the name of the thing is, we're able to scrap all this stuff. Although I think you can always get rid of this stuff you know, the, the shelves and the contents of the shelves and that there's like no getting rid of all that junk on the floor which is just dumb I mean, what you can't get somebody with a shovel to go in and clean up the mess Now this area here will eventually become the greenhouse. I'll uh, build a nice large building and it will be a good sized building and it will be all glass. There will be farm plots all around the inside and maybe even a little place to eat. Or, you know, get something to drink or something. It's what I do. It fits well. It looks nice. Got all this garden stuff going on, so it makes sense. Look, I'm gonna have plenty of wood, plenty of steel, and plenty of rubber when I get through with this. You see, normally you're not able to get rid of stuff like that. Which is exactly the kind of stuff you want to get rid of. Alright. Wrong one. There you go. First things first. Let's get some food going. Alright. 
So two trees. We've got four food for three people now. So the food is taken care of. Wow. All this little stuff. Yeah, I eventually reached the point where yeah, it's just easier to pick all this Everything stuff up. Use. Dump it in the work bench and then get rid of the shelves afterwards. It'll be easier, it'll be quicker, and I'll be less likely to uh what are you looking at? Accidentally erase the floor. Which I, I tend to do when I get in a hurry. That's one of the problems with scrap everything. And uh, just to show you, there will be a new video in the extra section where I did exactly what I just said. I got in a hurry and I deleted too much stuff. And had to start all over again. Very annoying. But you can check that out later. Gears. Sounds important. Mr. Handy Fuel. Flanges. Torque rod ends. Military grade duct tape. Military grade duct tape is really cool for your ballistic weave projects. Oh, I missed one. A two shot lever rifle. I don't know, a two shot lever action rifle. All right. I love two shot weapons. So now I've got one in a lever action or lever action rifle. Wait a second. Um, don't I already have one of those? Shoots an additional projectile. Okay, so what else? What do we got? What do we got? No, down, down. A little more. A little more. Shoots an additional projectile. Oh. Okay. 161. 112. We're better off with the customized one. Ah, oh, well. I'm screaming by. All right. I'm glad. I didn't think you weren't squeaking by. And it's like, oops, I found a hole in the floor. That's one of those things I will eventually have to be doing something with. One long feller. Oh, didn't get everything out of this cabinet. Where's that cabinet? Okay, let's avoid the hole. And let's hit this first aid kit and this desk. And a couple of bottle caps. And uh, some more bottle caps. Fan, lamp. Looks like that terminal is actually functioning. Now well, that's interesting. I'll we'll have to go and look in. Hey, thanks, Longfellow. I'll have to go and look later. All right, what have we got in the kitchen? Toaster, bread box, more glass, Sloping Joe's espresso tin. All right, so a big hole that I don't know what I'm going to do with. See, like I said, this, I, I'm, like I'm pretty sure I said sometime before, this building is almost too hard to rehabilitate since it's so much of it is gone it's almost not worth the hassle yeah let's go ahead and get these I mean you know there are some things I can fix and some things that are just boom not worth the hassle all right let's dump some of this stuff I'm sitting here thinking, maybe I should have fast-forwarded through all of this loot and stuff, too. But, oh well. While I'm looting, people may talk to me. When I'm building, they may talk to each other, but they won't be talking to me. So I can safely ignore them. 
All right. So, we have this nice large body of water here. So let's put a nice large, okay, well let's put a water pump in it anyway. Even if it's not nice and large. All right, water. Can't build that, can't build that, don't want to build that. I can't build the water pump, but I can build a water-based water purifier. Yay! Now, can I power it? I can power it! If three will power it. Oh, um... What do you need? You need two. This is three. That'll work. All right. We've got water going. Okay. That's good. All right, yeah. Let's start cleaning some of this stuff up. I'm sure that'll help things out. The gear. Scrap Feral Ghoul. I was a little nervous there. I was afraid I almost took out one of the floor pieces. Yeah. Okay. We need beds. So let's build some beds. There's one, two. Three, four. All right, we have three people, we have four beds. So what are we gonna do next? We need defense. And, oh, that's not gonna work. Don't have enough gears, don't have enough circuitry. So we need to find some circuitry. Hmm. Well, let's look over here. Best to grab it now while you can. Yeah, yeah. Get this door open. Thank goodness. One more time. There we go. Got it. And I already hit the cash register. Oh, bottles. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 glass. That'll be nice for that greenhouse I'm wanting to build, won't it? Yes, it will. More baseballs, more teddy bears. Make some baseball grenades. That'll always be fun. And coffee cups. Whiskey's running low. Better find Go some more. Behind. Ooh. Two more coffee tins. A couple of coffee pots. Lots of coffee cups. And a locked cash register. There we go. Yes. All right. Anything in here? Didn't look like it. Oops. What you do that? Right there. All right. And there's one more clean coffee cup. All right. Nothing. Oh, teapot. Nothing else useful here. So. It's, did I get everything? I think I skipped this. Yeah, because I was there. I need to get this plate and cash register with all the stuff I'd swiped from across the street. So there's that. And what do we got here? We've got a cooking stove. Annoyingly enough, this isn't within the bounds of 
the settlement. Strangely enough, another cash register with nothing in it. Potato crisps. Oh, that's special. Nothing in the fridge. Big cooking pot. Cooking pots sometimes have, depending on the cooking pot, comes with useful things like copper. I guess they're copper bottomed cooking pots. Although they usually say they're what they are. Here it's just, it doesn't say it's anything. But we'll hold this over here to the settlement and dump it. I can scrap that later for whatever I get from it. So oh, it's not bad. All right. Ooh, like this play case. Ammo. Come on, baby, open up. Open says me. Sweet. All right. 556, 50, 45, 44, and 10. All right. It's okay. Ammo is good. Ammo is always good. Now, there's a fog condenser. I don't know why there's a fog condenser. It's not that close to the settlement. And it's like, there's absolutely nothing you can do with this building. You can't explore its inside. You can't do it. There's nothing outside. It's like, it might as well just be a rock for as much good as it is. Okay, here's the field where I can, uh, I will put my greenhouse, and uh, part of me was thinking that maybe there's something useful up here, and there may be, and I may have just overlooked it, but really, for the most part, this is just all wasted space, too. There's nothing you can do with it, really. I might be able to clean some of it up, but you know. The children of Adam are dangerous. Don't trust them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green Volt Boy T-shirt. Um, let me fix that bathroom up later. Oh, a hot plate! Hot plates! Hot plates have circuitry. Ah. So that should be helpful. Do I have enough circuitry though? That's the question. That's apparently not the question I'm asking yet. Okay, now I'm asking the question. Yep. All right, yep, the only thing red is, oh, I still need gears. And Lots of wood, lots of steel, more wood, more steel, more steel, more junk, more wood, more wood, more wood, more steel, more junk, more steel, more junk, more wood. The um, shack floors are more useful to me for their uh, material than them being shack floor because I don't think I'd really use them for anything to be honest with you I don't know if I'm going to use that building for anything either so let's be careful this time Bill and not get rid of the piers all right more trash more junk more pallets more wood I need to tear this one down too I think there's a piece of wood there that I completely ignored. So there's one more chunk of wood I can still get. Or steel. Steel. Put in here. More wood. Some steel. Gears! Alright. Well, that was great. That should be enough gears to build two. If I wanted to. But at least let's get the one going. Alright.
I, where can I put it? Can I put it up there? Doesn't want to go up there. Put it over here. It'll go up here. All right. I'll put it way up there. All right. Um, oh, there's the large pot. Wasn't really much, was it? Ah, well. I was worried about what he was doing, but then it occurred to me he's maintaining the, the fog condenser. I don't know why it's not wanting to put this 2x2 two two foundation anywhere. Especially since I can take a 1x1 one one foundation and put that there. I can put one next to it and put one there. And I can put four 1x1s, one but I can't put one 2x2. Two two. Uh, Alright. So, we get our Marshall plot. Alright. Let's put some stairs in so somebody can climb up there. Let's go ahead and put the big one. Alright, so we have a Marshall plot. Uh, not you. You. You look like a big sturdy guard. So we will assign you to the big sturdy guard post. And, um, and this is where I decide I want another tree. There we go. Now we got six food for three people. So that's good. That'll work out well. Alright, what can we do with you? I know what we'll do. Let's clear this inside out and see what we can do with this. Lighters. I missed the flip lighters. Okay. Structures. What can we do with this corner? Hmm. Normally I would do this. Oh, it's going to let me do it. All right, cool. I mean, this is the kind of stuff I can use just about anywhere to at least do something. Okay, well, let me put the wall there. Okay, um... Need to move it a little, but we can't move it with that there, so let's move that outside. Move it a little more. Can we put that there yet? Nope. Alright, let's take a look at the side. Oh, I made a weird angle. Let's straighten this out a little bit. Okay. There we go. And there, look. There's no hole in the ceiling anymore. There's no holes in the wall. It's actually relatively secure. At least compared to the rest of the building. Uh, just to make it easier for everyone, we'll uh, add a few more little floor pieces. Just so it's a little more level. Oh look, another hot plate with circuit boards. Alright, so we got that. Now we're going to put our commercial plot here. Can't get the silly thing to just size-wise on me. All right, there we go. It's too close. There we go. All right, so put that there. All right, and we want it to be. Now this stuff is all outside, so we want. Yeah, the good old cola bar, I guess. All right. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. We will assign her to that. But Sim Settlements won't let me assign her to that because I don't have enough houses. I have enough housing, but I don't have houses. So for the time being, we'll just put a simple bar here. We will assign her to the simple bar. So now we have something to entertain people. And we need a place for them to sit. And Nuka Cola. I can't build a Nuka Cola bench. Why not? Okay. 
but I can build a Slocum Joe booth because it's not leather, it's cloth. All right. Okay. So we have a place for people to sit. All right. What am I looking for? What am I doing? What am I looking for? I don't know. Ooh. Okay, so that works. I chill in my bones that won't come out. This works. Many nights out I'm going to unload some stuff. It's probably not a bad idea. There we go. From all that scavenging over there in the festival section, I guess you could call it. Alright. I got my two coffee tins and the Silicon Joes, so let's stash them in one of these lockers so I don't accidentally turn them into a lot of people only got the clothes on their back here. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not great, but it's secure enough. Okay. All right. Generators. Well, I can build a medium generator, but I can't build any of the rest. All right. What do we got here? Nope, 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 nope. I can build a wind turbine. All right. So. This will get us some decent power going. Okay. So let's put one of our connectors. And I guess it needs to go higher. Not sure that's such a good idea, but it works. All right, now we can put lights inside. Let's put nicer lights than that. Okay, let's move this over towards the center more. All right, we've got some decent lights now. Okay, a street light or a parking lot light, as the case may be. And we'll attach it up there. And then we'll attach it to our guard post. All right, our guard post now has power. And yeah, I got rid of the wrong thing there. I got rid of a sidewalk curb when I shouldn't have. So we're just going to leave the junk that's on top of it there to hide the fact that I screwed up. I need to get light on this. Either that or I need to uh, turn it into a neon sign, one of the two. I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, am I calling it? Yeah, I think I'm going to call it a night for here. I'm trying to see what would be the best way to... Uh, See, there's a road that actually goes to the National Park Visitor Center, but I don't know what shape that road is in. And, I mean, it's still closer than going all the way up to the uh, Dalton Farm, so I think it's going to have to be there. But I would really rather check that out during the day. There's only 60% here. We better go check. Spoiler alert, this was a bad idea. This will be Ken's residence. Lived here all his life. Even yes, I know. You said that last time. Before. Even after we left Ken at... Oh, look, it's Drummer Boy. I hope you can help. I just noticed that some of the fog condensers are on the fritz. This place is going to be a magnet for the island's creatures until we get them fixed. I'll help you repair them. Sounds good. If we work together, we can get them fixed faster. And thusly begins one of the most annoying and pain in the butt quests you get from Far Harbor. Because basically what's going to happen is, is while this poor guy runs around fixing fog condensers, we get to battle a million fog creatures. So, I mean, you know, if you ever wondered what would happen to Far Harbor if they lost their fog condensers, this is what would happen to Fog Harbor. Fog Harbor. Fog Harbor. So, you know. 
You can just sit here and watch me spend lots and lots of ammo. Well, the good thing is, is I actually do take the occasional look at my health meter, so... when my hand moves. Uh, instead of hitting W, you hit E. And you leave your power up. It works with all possible moves. I don't understand. No way I'm getting One of these, like, doesn't want to die. And I switched to this because I'm big problem when I'm busy trying to every time I have to reload to keep killing and we get wolves lovely. Again, I hit the wrong button again. Okay. Uh, that was more exhausting than I would have thought. Oh, there's my pepper. So let's talk to the guy. That could have been a lot worse. Thanks for the help. We should be safe enough with the fog condensers all working again. Okay, so all the people came out to attack. Ugh. One of them got destroyed, the other one I accidentally took off. Alright, let's start looting what corpses I can find because it's night and it's dark and I can't see anything. Why does stuff like this always happen at night? Oh, well, some sort of legendary chest piece. I didn't take the time to stop and look at it. Gulper innards now. There's the door. Find the door. There's the door. At least a gap in the fence. Yeah, it's a door. Alright. That machine gun was running. Anything over here to pick up? I thought there was one out here. Maybe I was wrong. Okay. All right, so all of that was done, finally. All right. Five beds, five people. I should probably build in six food. I need some more food here. Well, the easiest and quickest way to get food is the large mute fruit trees. Good. Add a little greenery to the area, so. Kind of a plus plus. Alright, you're all in bed. Let's go ahead and put another bunk bed in here. Uh, 
All right. So we got seven beds for five people. And uh, yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and do what we didn't do the other day. There you go. Have a shower. I can get cleaned up. Get the toilet so you don't have to make like a bear. I can put it in that corner. It won't let me select the trash can. But it will let me kick it out of the way, so that works. Alright, that's where I want to put it. Okay, we got a toilet. And I can select it. You're not assigned. Okay, well... light in here. Tin can I didn't pick up. For some reason it's not highlighting all of that trash. I would love to get rid of the trash, but I'm not going to risk losing the floor. So we'll put a big one here. We'll store that. I may use it again sometime. Okay. We'll assign you to the bar. Alright. Okay. So. We're done here. And. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh. This. It's not worth going back to the cabin. So we're gonna. We're gonna spend the night here. So again. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it tonight. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Some of that stuff you're lugging around?